everybody. Today I'd like to talk to you about brass instruments and instruments of the brass family, which also happen to be made out of brass. Now brass is a metal that is almost completely copper with a little bit of zinc thrown in. It's called an alloy. Now this is a copper pipe. It's left over from my basement. It was a water pipe. It's used for water because it doesn't corrode and rust like iron would. It does tarnish and it turns green sometimes, just like the Statue of Liberty or pennies, which are also made of copper. So I polished this pipe up so you can see this copper color. It's really goldish, yellowish, reddish. It's a nice color, the color of pennies. Uh, but if you don't polish it up, if you leave it for a little bit, it looks like this. This is raw brass right here. Okay, it's very reddish brown. Now brass and copper and bronze are known as the red metals. Bronze is very similar, but instead of zinc thrown in with a copper, you use tin. Uh, here's another example of some brass. At the end of this mute right here. This is brass, raw, unpolished brass. Now, we don't leave our trumpets and our brass instruments unpolished, so we normally lacquer them with a clear paint. So this trombone right here is polished up and then coated in a clear lacquer. Okay, so underneath that, that's the brass that you see, just with a clear coat on top to keep it from tarnishing and turning green or brown, depending on how much copper and other metals and things are inside there. Alright, I'm going to demonstrate a little bit for you. Now, just like this pipe here, which by the way, old pipes were made of copper. Uh, now they're usually made of plastic. But, now don't go exploring because it's very dangerous, but your electrical wires are usually made of copper as well. Also speaker wires and anything else that transmits signals because it's a very good conductor. Copper is a very good important metal. And it's a pure element from the periodic table. Anyway, throw in a little zinc, you got your brass. Alright, now this is a trumpet, one of the many brass instruments. And you can see it is just a brass tube. Okay, this one is plated in silver. Okay, just another way to coat it so that it doesn't all look like that all the time. And basically, you don't even need these valves to make a bunch of different notes. So I'm going to buzz my lips into the mouthpiece here. All brass instruments have a mouthpiece. When I buzz that into the trumpet though, I get a much better sound. said you don't even really need the fingers I can play all sorts of different notes uh, sometimes we call it a bugle if you don't have any of these valves on there just a plain old tube mouthpiece tube and then the bell the bell is what projects the sound in a direction so I'm gonna do a bugle call here I'm not gonna touch any of the valves Of different ones you can do uh, and you'll notice I did not change the length of the tube at all so it's very different from our woodwind instruments lots of different holes okay uh, now we do have the valves here I'll take one out to show you on a trumpet these valves they're exactly the size of their casing and they have two sets of holes one for when the valve is up if the valve is up it goes straight through but if the valve is down, it adds some tubing, making the tube longer and the pitch lower. Okay, it's very important I put this back the correct way and in the correct slot. Otherwise, it's not going to work. All right, so this, just adding this little bit of tube will lower the pitch by one half of a step, like this. This one's a little bigger, 
and this third one is even bigger and then plus there's all the combinations of them. So when you combine just these three valves and all those different series of notes that you can play without the valves, you can play any note that you want. Right, that's the chromatic scale, any note that I want. Okay, so this is the trumpet. This is a slightly smaller trumpet called a C trumpet. And like I showed you, there's lots of fun things like mutes that you can use. I'll show you one real quick. This is called the Harmon mute. It's used in jazz a lot. It's very fun. I'm going to play one thing real quick before I switch over to the trombone. Let's see. This is from Haydn's Trumpet Concerto. Haydn was a classical composer from Austria, lived in Vienna around the time of Beethoven and Mozart. He lived a really long time and composed a lot. So this is his trumpet concerto. Part of it, at least. All right. Trumpet and trumpet mouthpiece going away for a minute. Well, let's take out the trombone here. As I put it together, let me just tell you about the saxophone. So the saxophone does not have a mouthpiece that you buzz into like this, which, by the way, a brass trumpet, trombone, tuba, they all are cup-shaped. But the French horn is really cool. It has a cone-shaped mouthpiece. And the bell is really big. French horn is very different from some of the other brass instruments. But really, they're all the same thing. They're just a tube made of brass with a mouthpiece and a bell. Okay? Anyway, the saxophone. It's also made of brass, but everything else about it functions like a woodwind. It has a reed, has all those different keys and holes. So don't get, don't get fooled by the color of a saxophone. It's also a pretty modern invention, so you won't find it in the orchestra. You'll find it in bands and in jazz. Child and bone, however, gets to be in all those things. So does the trumpet. And you notice trombone is a very old instrument. It's much easier to make than a trumpet with all those valves. It just has this long slide. Okay, it also plays lower. It plays from the bass clef. And the slide, when I slide it out, I don't know how much of that you can see. When I slide it out, the tube gets longer and the pitch gets lower. Same thing though, I'm buzzing my lips into it. Just like that. And I can play different notes without moving the slide. It's a little hard switching between the two instruments, but uh, let me show you one more time. As I go out, the pitch gets lower. As I come in, the pitch gets up higher. All right, so there you go. There's some brass instruments, the trombone, the trumpet, not the saxophone, not part of the brass family. And again, brass is the name of the metal. It's made of mostly copper. Here's the copper tube, all polished up. Throw a mouthpiece on one end to buzz your lips into, and a bell on the other end, and you have a brass instrument.
see you next time when we talk about another family. Or take a look at the song Three Little Fishies. I'll demonstrate uh, the trumpet and trombone on there. All right. Have a good week, everybody.